Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here thank you for clicking onto this video I hope you click that subscribe button as well. Believe it or not I have not shopped in Primark since last year well I shopped at the beginning of this year but that was literally just for like underwear so it wasn't like a proper Primark shop so I'm not counting it. I can't believe I've gone that long without going into Primark I don't I don't know why I'm trying to think of a reason why and I don't know and I keep watching everyone's like Primark hauls and I'm like oh that's really cute I should probably try and buy it but have I no so oh, I got two big bags full to make up for all the time I did not shop so I went in mainly for work clothes did I really get work clothes some was I kind of just buying and grabbing what I liked yes so it's a mixture of things so let's just jump straight into it I'm currently wearing this underwear right now TMI maybe but it is a four pack from plain white two pounds no you can't really have many like you know many you can't have enough eee! again I've worn a pair of these these are seven pairs of sh cotton rich shoe liners so like ankle socks two pound I needed some I've also got some white ones in here somewhere but because I've been wearing a lot of like Converse or like trainers and stuff, I need ankle socks, basically. A little green sleeveless shirt that I just thought would just be, you know, it's flowy, it's light, perfect for work in this weather. And it was £8. I just thought this little white crop top was a bit cute, you know. It's got a little tie bit at the front. It's sleeveless, bit of a basic to go with you know jeans and it was five pound they also had other colors of this but the white was the one that drew me the most to be honest just for you know staple but there is likelihood that i will not stay white and i will ruin it i don't think i was meant to keep this and now i'm annoyed but never mind uh black plain crop top short sleeve it's got a little tie thing here and i didn't actually like that and i was meant to change that i don't know if you can see like it's this and i didn't like it because it kind of looks like you know when you try to pull out a piece of thread and then it goes all like scrunchy that's what it it looks like and i didn't like it and i think i was meant to put this back but i i forgot but never mind and this was three pound another little shirt for work it's this one is long sleeves however it's kind of short it looks kind of short but never mind i'll get away with it it's just got i just thought it was kind of cute i like the little like heart like hand drawn kind of design you see i just i just thought that was kind of adorable and cute and this was eight pound i bought a pair of black sandals i just i don't like sandals that go in between your toes i don't know what they're called but i don't like those and i don't like sliders because i can't Walking them, I just slide everywhere. Hence the name sliders. Um, but I just saw these and I thought they were pretty cute. A staple would go with literally everything. I just needed something to throw on that I could wear for work that was still suitable. It says wide fit. And I tried them on anyway. And they weren't a wide foot. I don't think I have wide feet. But apparently I do if these are wide feet. But just a heads up try them on even if it says wide fit because i don't i think they're lying to you and this was six pound i got some hoop earrings oh god that's a bit messy but basically silver ones gold ones are exactly the same different sizes for the mood that i'm in pound each which i think is not bad because you get one two three four you have five hoops <laughs> sets for one pound so that's like what here comes the math it's not 25p is it 20p 20 40 60 80 pound that's 20p a hoop which I, you can't really go wrong can you i bought a lot of crop tops i think i bought i think i bought about five just because i feel like there's such staples to have you know when you can't think of what to wear so you just think jeans at the top especially in this weather just jeans and a plain crop top pair of vans or converse or sandals like sorted so i got a gray one it's three pound short sleeve grey can't really go these are a nice length as well uh i wore a purpley one or it's like an or is it a burgundy i can't remember but it's in the other bag oh. um and they're actually really nice i just threw it on it's quite tight fitting um it's not baggy which i quite like 
and it was just a nice length like it wasn't you know when they're like too cropped and you're just like what's the point under boob is showing if I wanted that I would have bought something specifically for it but it was just a nice length it's like quite like in the middle you still show a little bit like I wore jeans that weren't high-waisted and it was just a nice gap you know they're just a nice length of crop top is what I'm saying so this is the item which I said is for winter but I thought get it now because I bet you any money it will be sold out by the time I go in there for like autumn winter and already then they only had like a few sides there was like four left so I was like I'm grabbing it now and it's this fluffy coat <laughs> Clearly not suitable for the weather that we're having at 30 odd degrees right now. But I just thought it was cute. You know, just something to throw on. See, it's just a little bit. It's not, is it cropped? I don't know. Let's see. No, it's not. But you know, it's just nice and it has little pop buttons as well. And I just thought, you know, you know in the winter, especially when you're like going out and it's like you've got your dress on, you just want to throw on a little thing, you know? This is an extra small, okay? Now, I did try on a medium, which is, I think they're like 10 to 12. And it was huge. It was seriously huge. And this is a 6 to 8, and I am not a 6 to 8. I'm like 8 to 10, borderline more 10 than 8. I tried it on, and even this, I feel like I still got a bit of room. Like, I'll be able to put clothes on underneath. So I don't know what was going on with the sizings there but for this coat. So just a heads up if you get it, you might have to size down. I can't remember if I told you it was 18 pounds, but it was 18 pounds. I really like these jeans. I wore this with the crop top and I just really, really like them. So they're light blue, they're a bit distressed. You can see it's got like little, no, can you see that? I don't know, let me try. Can you see it's got like little bits of distress on the jeans? But I really like the bottom of them. Bottom, bottom bottom of them and you see what it's like it's just like distressed like bad badly cut at the bottom and they fit nicely literally just around my ankle are they stretchy yes they are slightly got stretched to them i find primark jeans very confusing so this i got in a size 10 and it did it fitted nicely with the little stretch it's also got pockets in the back if you wanted to see what the back looked like and this was 13 pounds the reason i say this is because these pair of jeans which was originally the pair of jeans i wanted to wear on my night out these are the boo body cult skinny sculpt why am I acting like I didn't see the S in front of that? Body Sculpt Skinny. So they're meant to like, you know, sculpt your body and make it look nice. They are also stretchy, okay? And I got a size 10. So this is what they look like. You know, dark, had a little bit of distress, but not much. You know, normal cut at the bottom. You can't see because I didn't do it properly. But slight distress in the back. I just thought they looked cute. And I wanted to try the whole body sculpt thing, see if it makes my booty look better. Do you think you could get over the booty? It could not. I literally was like, oh, oh, okay. It's one of those ones where it's not going over the thighs at all. But the other ones were, and they were a size 10. So I'm confused. What's going on? So yeah, that was a complete fail. So I will be returning these ones. Um, I haven't tried the other pair of jeans that I've bought, but I did really like these. And these were uh, 13 pounds as well, I believe. Yes. But it's a shame, because I actually really like the look of these jeans. And I might just go and size up, but yeah, that just didn't, it just didn't work. And, and then I also bought a pair of black jeans. Again, stretchy. These are, oh no. Oh no. I didn't realise I got this as the body sculpt skinny as well. So I'm probably going to be returning these. Because if the other ones didn't fit, I'll be surprised if the black are going to fit as well. So that's a bummer. £13, plain black jeans. I thought you can never have too many black jeans because they always just fade, don't they? Regardless. The stress of black jeans. This is the crop top that I wore. £3. 
in this like burgundy wineish color it actually looked really nice i really liked this so i got this baby blue dress it looks like it's gonna be quite flowy it does have like a oh it is part of it oh okay i didn't know if you could take it apart but i guess not it does have like a string belt that you can have with that is attached and it's got just these little buttons down i think it's gonna be like just above the knee and it goes down slightly into a V. I just thought it would be really cute, easy to throw on, pair of white sandals. And there you go, you're nice and cool. And I got this for the office. And it was £10. Another dress that I bought and I haven't tried it on and I'm a bit ooing and aahing about it because I don't really know how it's going to look and if I'm going to like it or not. But it's just this plain, again, kind of like loose fitting uh, dress. It's got the thick straps with a big black button and it goes this is the back and that's basically it flowing again I think it's going to be above the knee but I just don't know I just don't know how I'm going to feel about this how it's going to look on me I might have to wear a belt with it just I just don't know if it's going to like swamp me and just give me like no shape or anything but we shall see and this was £10 as well Again, like I said, I got some white low cut socks. Two pound. And you got seven in there, same like the black ones. I got a new bralette. Now, if you couldn't tell, I love wearing bralettes and bodysuits. If you look at my Instagram recently, I have been wearing some. I saw this one. I thought this would be cute. This would go with some of my outfits that I have recently bought and it is just this plain white and black bralette it's got like a flowery design and it's got the cross bit at the back I just thought and it's got this bit at the front I just thought it was it will look sexy is <laughs> what I thought and I thought underneath a shirt because I've got like some like low cut shirty kind of style tops <laughs> don't know where I was going with that um, and I thought this would just look cute underneath it and it has removable pads apparently and I will probably remove the pads because I don't really like that or I might not It might make it completely see-through then and then our nip is gonna be on show. So maybe not and this was mm -hmm. oh, There is eight pound and I got a bodysuit. It is a red one it is going to be completely see-through, so nips will be on show. But I bought this because I actually have a red bralette, and I thought I could just, you know, layer it up and wear it underneath. But this is just, yeah, what it looks like. Crossed bit at the back, low. I just thought wearing it with, like, a pair of high-waisted jeans, so this is the part mainly of what you will see. And I just thought that would, it would just be a cute outfit, you know? And that was £12. As you know, I love going to Primark for all like bodysuits and bralettes because they're just so cheap compared to some other places where I'm paying like 20 plus. And I'm like, I can just go Primark and everything's like under 20 quid there. Very boring, but I got some hangers. If you want to know, 10 non slip hangers, £4. And I have like loads of these because, yeah, you can't have too many hangers. And then finally, I got a pair of shoes that I just thought were just super cute you know look so this that's the design I don't know what kind of shoe they're classed as I'm not a fashion guru but it's just got a little block let me move my hand there we go it's just got a little block heel which I just thought again will be perfect for work or you know when you just want to just kind of glam up an outfit if you're going to like the pub I go to the pub quite a bit and I never have suitable shoes <laughs> Especially like sometimes I just go over glam or not. But sometimes you know when you want to wear jeans at the top and you just thought, there you go. Glam it up a bit with a bit of a heel. I just thought they were just nice and fancy. And basically, that I'm trying to just tell you why I'm buying them, but I don't know why. Um, £12 as well. Can't go wrong. They also had them in brown, but I went for black because it's a staple. So that is everything that I bought from Primark. I'll be honest, I was kind of disappointed in my Primark. Usually it's quite good, but... I don't know. I don't know if it's because it's the, like, we're in between autumn and, like, summer. So we've got some autumn stuff coming in and I'm like, meh, I don't really care for you. And summer stuff, I'm kind of like, meh. I don't know. I just wasn't wowed by what was in my Primark. Compared to, you know, when you watch other people's Primarks and I'm like, 
where where are you because you're not in my primark so i was kind of like disappointed in that i might have to go to the one up london and see what they've got so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already please subscribe and comment down below your favorite bit that i bought and i shall see you next time bye <laughs> I can talk to make it now. I'm gonna send those out. I believe in a fake of love. If you didn't know, I was literally just thinking about something.